Las Vegas, live at 11. You're burning hell. There's a parts. I slap that as well. Why? Tonight, the NAACP of Nevada and the Anti-Defamation League, they are condemning this video right here, spreading racist language and hate. Good evening, everyone. I'm Todd Quinones. And I'm Trisha Keen. The school district is now investigating the video involving students at Palo Verde High School. 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels is here to explain, and Joe, Really, race relations within the district might be at the lowest point right now. Yeah, Todd and Trisha and the folks we spoke to tonight say this is a conversation that needs to start in the home. This is a learned behavior and really disgusting, uh, despicable. You picked the word to really describe the latest round of racist language and words coming from within CCSD. And just days before school gets out for the summer, another bombshell has inflamed race relations that were already very low. Burn in hell. The Snapchat video is riddled with language unairable on TV. 13 Investigates has learned it's now at the center of a school district investigation after it began making the rounds and prompted a message home to Palo Verde High School parents. Being an African American child, friends, acquaintances with this particular individual who they've hung out, the front, you know, it shocked her. Parent Patsy Brown, who is also running for city council, says the video sent shockwaves around the Palo Verde High School campus where her daughter attends. She's also connected to the boy in the video. If you want the respect, you should give it. So whether it was a song or not, doesn't matter. That's another boy. You know what to say and what not to say. He's not three. There's a part I'll slap that. 13 Investigates has learned the racist rant is actually song lyrics by an online creator. Some say it's perhaps a symptom of a larger racial and cultural problem. I feel like people are definitely emboldened right now. Um, we're seeing these things happen around the country, but we're seeing them happen around our state. We're seeing them happen around our district. I mean, we have just seen an uptick of incidents happening every single day. The Anti-Defamation League of Nevada says in recent months, the school district has endured one race relations nightmare after the next. Arborview High School was the flashpoint when student Instagram posts surfaced advocating for a cleansing of black students from hallways and perhaps a Columbine High School style shooting. Those involved arrested, cited and expelled. Then weeks later, more trouble. Trustee Danielle Ford sent parents storming out of a school board meeting after she referred to some students as colored. She repeatedly apologized and admitted she needs implicit bias training. Actually surprised because of the generation because you would think as the newer generations come on the scene, a lot of those bias and things would be forgotten. The NAACP of Nevada also condemning the recent racist language, calling on CCSD to immediately confront the problems and to create a zero tolerance automatic expulsion policy. The school district says the video was not shot on campus and also tweeted Palo Verde High School is aware of the video and is investigating. Behavior like this will not be tolerated at our school nor anywhere in the Clark County School District. And the Palo Verde High School principal pleading with parents to speak to their students and to underscore this type of behavior will not be tolerated in the district. It's unclear what, if anything, will happen to the two teens seen in the video. Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Certainly disturbing developments.